nationally televised show Live PD damaging Tulsa's image. Several local leaders voiced their opposition to the show during a protest outside City Hall. But Channel 8's Ethan Hutchins reports the mayor's maintaining support for that show. It was a clear message. We want an immediate end to Live PD. A television show that city leaders in Tulsa consider racist. The group holding a protest outside City Hall today, demanding the city end their contract with the show that was recently renewed. I stand with my community today, with the people here today, to demand better. Councilor Vanessa Hall Harper, Representative Regina Goodwin, and others sent a letter with more than 200 signatures to Mayor Bynum Friday concerning the show, saying it profits at the expense of the community. Uh, it's, it's bad policing, it's bad policy, and it needs to be stopped. And for it to be done for entertainment value? It's, it's incredibly disheartening. This protest comes days after Mayor Bynum held several town meetings where speakers called for him to end the contract between Live PD and the city. The mayor refused the community's request to end Live PD. Former Tulsa Police Chief Drew Diamond also on hand today. He says this is not a new discussion. He dealt with something similar in the late 80s when the show Cops wanted to film in Tulsa. I was the chief then. Uh, they came to Tulsa. I said no. Uh, it turns out I was the only police chief in the country that said no. I said no for all the reasons that we just explained. We reached out to Tulsa police, but they declined to comment. However, the Tulsa Fraternal Order of Police sent us a statement saying in part, Live PD is another vehicle of transparency that gives viewers a real unedited firsthand look of calls our officers go on daily. The city of Tulsa also declined to comment today. Reporting in Tulsa, Ethan Hutchins, Tulsa Channel 8. The group protesting also brought up the search for a new Tulsa police chief. In their letter, they have requested the city expand the search from the seven internal candidates and look outside the state.